I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw four different examples of food chains. So I'm going to write food chains at the top. And remember, a food chain shows how energy moves from the sun through living things. So the first thing I'm going to do over here on the left is draw one, two, three, four circles. I come up and I put little straight lines all the way around. Some of you might have already figured out this is my sun. My sun is the beginning energy source for a food chain. So all four of these food chains starts out with the sun. And then I'm just going to put curve line dot dot curve line dot dot. Now to show that it is a sequence we're going to draw a straight line baby triangle. Straight line baby triangle straight line baby triangle straight line baby triangle. And that's so that you know it starts with the sun and then it goes over to the next part of the food chain which for this part is a wavy line down and a wavy line up connect one, two, three baby circles. This is seaweed. The seaweed straight line triangle becomes part of curved line, straight line out, in, out, in, curve line connect, straight line up, down, straight line up, down, up, down, curve line in dot. The sun starts off to the seaweed which feeds the fish. Straight line, baby triangle, the fish, curve line, curve line, Big curve line down, up, little curve line in, out, little curve line, straight line, wavy line, curve line, straight line, wavy line, little curve line on top. The fish is part of the food chain that feeds the seal. Straight line, baby triangle. And the seal, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, big curve line off the page, curve line off the page, little bitty circle, zigzag, 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 curve line, curve line. The seal becomes the energy for the shark. So it goes sun, seaweed, fish, seal, shark. That is this first food chain. The next ones we're going to do are going to be a little bit different. Same thing, we're going to start off on the sun, curve line, little straight line up, little straight line up, curve line connect, little curve line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, Diagonal lines, crisscross, crisscross. This is an acorn. Straight line, baby triangle. The acorn goes to this curve line down, up, wavy, wavy. Curve line, curve line, connect. Curve line, curve line, curve line in. Little curve line, little curve line, dot, dot. The acorn comes and helps the food chain for the squirrel. And then the squirrel, straight line, baby triangle, becomes part of 
straight diagonal, straight diagonal, little curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line up, curve line up, dot, dot, zigzag, zigzag, little curve line, straight line out. This is a coyote. So here's the sequence. Sun, acorn, squirrel, coyote. That is the food chain for all of these living things and the energy that they must have in order to stay alive. Now we come down to this one. One, two, three, one, two. Wavy line at the bottom, wavy line at the bottom. Curve line, 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 curve line. This is wheat. That's a grain. Straight line, baby triangle. That, big curve line, little straight line out, in, curve line, dot, dot, little curve line, wavy line out, in, the wheat becomes part of the food chain for the mouse. Straight line, baby triangle. And then, curve line, straight diagonal up, down. Straight diagonal up, down. Wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Straight line out. Wavy, wavy line, connect. Baby circle. Baby circle, dot, dot little triangle upside down. The mouse becomes part of the food chain for the owl. Okay? Next one, sun. Baby circle, wavy, wavy, wavy line. This is a flower. Straight line, baby triangle. Let's just do a straight line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the left. Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the right. Straight line, spiral, straight line, spiral. This is a butterfly. The butterfly helps the food chain. Curve line, big curve line, curve line up. One, two, little straight diagonals, dot, wavy line. This Feeds the bird, gives the bird the energy. Straight line, baby triangle. And then finally, wavy, wavy line up, out, in, wavy, wavy line up. Straight line, dot. And the bird provides for the snake. So here are four examples of four different food chains that all start with the sun. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, a lot of this you can color any way you want, but I would suggest that you do your son's yellow, traditional yellow, and know that that is the beginning for each one of the food chains in their sequence. So these should all be yellow. Next, we've got all these red, I mean all these baby triangles that I'm going to do red. And that is to show the movement of each one of the elements of the food chain as it works its way through the living things. So you got all these little red triangles to fill in. Now pretty much everything else you can do any color you want. These are only suggestions. I did a lot of grays and browns. I think my grays was a sharp. So I did that lightly. Don't do it so dark you can't see what you just drew. And my seal, whoops, I did black, but I did it also very lightly so you can see everything. Your fish can be pretty much any color you want. Just to be different, I did mine purple. 
and my seaweed. I did green, but you can also do it yellow green, a light, another yellow that would work. Acorns, very important source of food for a lot of different animals and living things. So I did that brown. Squirrel. I did that brown also. We have a lot of squirrels where I live. So that's brown. And my coyote. We also have coyotes where I live. I'm going to do this gray. They look like dogs, but you can always tell us a coyote because they have real spindly legs, little skinny mini legs. Okay. Next, wheat. It could be yellow. I did mine brown. You can make a choice. It's up to you. You're the artist. My mouse. I did gray. You know, and I'm putting a lot of emphasis on the coloring because the main thing of this chart is the drawing. So don't don't take out your drawings with a lot of different color. You got to be able to read your chart. And I made an orange bird, which makes no sense, but I did it anyways. And I made a green snake because I needed a pop of color. There are green snakes. And I did my butterfly blue. And I did my flower orange and purple. Okay. It's a nice chart. And it shows you the sequence of how the living things progress as a food chain. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my food chains. Remember, a food chain shows how energy moves from the sun through living things. Okay, bye-bye.